Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use three decks of cards today, we're going to bring in the Oracle of Shadows and Light, the Love Your Inner Goddess cards because the masculines are also embracing their feminine side right now by processing going within and opening their hearts and we're going to bring in the messages from your animal spirit guide. So thank you, angels. And we're receiving lots of signs right now through nature. Squirrels, butterflies, power. Such a powerful reading yesterday as well with the butterfly energy coming in. So let's see what's happening today. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the connection today? The energy around the divine feminines today. What do we need to know? The energy around the divine feminine, please, angels. And the energy around the divine masculine. The energy around the divine masculine. The energy around the divine masculine. You can feel this shift today as well. Something is in the air. Something is coming. What's coming? Only time will tell. You have to have faith. Be patient. Trust the journey. And believe. And when we believe, we receive. So the energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculine. Wow, love it. Love that. For the masculine, we've got priority of purpose. Wow priority of purpose for the masculine the energy around the divine feminine please angels there it is okay jumping out the deck here the energy please angels around the connection today that's the cards and the energy around the divine masculine the energy around the divine masculine today thank you thank you look at this for the divine masculine priority of purpose and they give me a block throat <clears throat> so they know that their priority right now is to communicate to you how they feel, that's part of their purpose, because that also opens them up to their truth, and, you know, love is everywhere, and love is everything, and that's what it says here on a t-shirt, love is everything, and the angels are saying, this love that you share is everything, everything to your twin, even if he isn't showing that to you in the physical world, your love means everything to him, and his love means everything to you, and that's what matters, and look how he's pursing his lips there, it's like he's saying to you, I just want to kiss you. I want to kiss you and tell you that you matter and that you are everything to me and you are everywhere I go. And that's my priority and that's my purpose. So he's letting you know that he knows that you have a purpose together, that it's truly meant to be. And we've got the queen of hearts and he knows that you are the queen of his heart or the king of his, her heart. You know, this is saying to you, you are the one. You hold the key to everything. You are my everything, Divine Feminine. And that's what he wants you to know today. We've got the witchy sisters, the power of three. I love this because the power of three is three, three, three. So I feel today the masculines are seeing three, three, three. And that's the ascended masters all around them, asking them to keep the faith, to trust and to believe. So the masculines are receiving guidance from above. They're receiving guidance from within. They've got all the information, they've been gathering that all up like the squirrel, and now they're digesting everything. And the witchy sisters is also about knowing the truth. And I feel they may also, you know, some of the masculines may have people around them who may be acting in a toxic way. So the witchy sisters can also be connected with family members, like actual siblings, sisters. Maybe they're, you know, not necessarily conjuring trouble, but getting in the way or you know being negative around them or these could also be karmic partners you know people trying to send negative energy towards you towards the masculine towards the journey and the power of three is about you your love which is the connection with heaven and your masculine so it's the trinity you know that sacred union you them and the higher power you them and source so that's the power of three and this is the power of you, you know, you hold this power within you. So I definitely feel the masculines and they've been seen 1111. They're seen 33 or 333 today because that's the sign of the power of three. We've also got the panda for the masculines. It says create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. So the masculines are having that quiet time, whether they are working in the car, at home, to actually focus on what they need to change and what they want to do and to open the heart to you. And the panda is also about that unique energy, knowing that there's nobody like you. And that's what they know. You know, they are saying to you today, you are my everything. 
You are everything to me. You're everywhere I go. So I also feel this panda is saying to you, you know, wherever your masculine is, they are being reminded of you constantly through the power of three. That's you, them and the higher power, which means they receive signs and guidance from above. They are not alone. They're always being guided. And we've got the peacock for confidence. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. And this is where the masculines are in their life. They want to stand out from the crowd. They want to step away from, you know, any toxic drama or pain. They want to stand strong in their journey and in their life. And look is on their side. Look at this. We've got ladybirds. And I know so many of you have been seeing ladybirds. You know, not long ago, I had ladybirds everywhere in the house. I didn't know where they were coming from. And it's a sign that luck is on your side. So this is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all the good things in your life. So the doors are open right now for the masculines to receive love, for the masculines to receive luck and abundance and power. So I feel the masculines are more likely seeing the ladybirds, the peacocks and the pandas than you divine feminine. These are the signs that they are seeing. These are the things they may be sharing on their social media or talking about in their life because these are animal guides around them giving them power and we've got the blue heron make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others any witchy sisters so any toxic energy around the masculine i feel this could be other females okay which could be mother sister friends you know, someone kind of sticking the nose into their life, karmic partners, friends of karmic partners, the masculines are standing strong, they know what they want and they know what they need to do, because you are their everything, and they gave me that song, you are my everything, so you are their everything, divine family, so let's do your energy today, we've got the goose for you, it says take time to rest and recuperate, rather than continuing your striving, so you're being reminded you don't need to reach out, you don't need to try, you don't need to push or force this journey, just allow it to be. Focus on you and living in the moment and easing through your day. And trust the universe has got your back because of your power. And look at this, it says white sage, but they're giving me the word white stag. You know, white stag, I'm feeling in this card. And we had the white stag coming up yesterday from the masculine. So the white stag is the promise of your mission. You know, your mask and saying to you, I know that we have a purpose together, a mission. And that's what he's saying here, priority of purpose. So this is about you cleansing yourself. And white sage is also about cleansing energy, you know, shielding yourself, releasing yourself from any toxic energy, especially any psychic attack, because that's what I'm connecting with, with this witchy sister energy. So the power of three is showing you today, if you're seeing 333, three, three, that you are safe to have faith that you are not alone, that you're being guided, that you have a mission here and that you can handle anything that comes your way, especially if that's coming through from the ego of others. You know, when others have got an opinion about your journey or an opinion about your life or they've got something to say, they are coming from a place of ego. It's an ego-based energy. They're not operating from their higher self. And sometimes other people think they're doing the right thing and saying the right thing, but it doesn't serve us. We've got Finch Spirit Guide, and this is 11, so again, 11, 11, so you may be seeing finches, and I've been seeing little kind of baby birds everywhere lately, and this finch is coming to you, saying to you, this love is real, you know, look at the what a card says up here, it says, I love us, I love us, so this is about the power of the love that you guys share, and the masculine is saying, you are my everything, and you are everywhere, and you're saying, I love us. So this is about knowing that you are one and what you feel about your twin flame is really what you're feeling about yourself. So, you know, if you're looking at them and thinking painful thoughts about them or thinking they're a bit of a drongo, you know, get your act together, come on. These are also things that you are healing within yourself because when we feel ready, most of the time we aren't ready at all because we're still being triggered by things. We're still learning to let go. We're still understanding what unconditional love is and what this journey means. It's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. It says freaking beautiful. And remember, you are freaking beautiful. You're amazing. And the masculine knows that there's nobody like you. You stand out from the crowd. You are special. You are unique. 
And that's also what the panda energy is. So the panda is reminding the divine masculine today, there's nobody like you. And you are their everything and they know that. So remember who you are, divine feminine, because you are awesome and amazing. And, you know, you say it's better to be ridiculous than boring. So if you think, oh, I've acted ridiculous on this journey, this journey is ridiculous sometimes. It's better to be ridiculous or in a crazy journey than a boring one. Remember that, you know, you may look at other people's lives and think they've got it all together. But they may be looking at your life, wishing they were you and living the kind of life that you're living. So, and we can never be bored when we are enjoying life. You know, I don't think I've actually been bored a day in my life since I turned 16. You know, because when we are younger, everything's boring. We just want to get older, all those things. But when we embrace our life and how can we be bored? There's so much to do. There's so much to do in this life. You know, boredom is a perception. And you are awesome. Remember your power. Do things you love to do. Make this your mission in the year of mission to have fun and to embrace yourself and be you. And who cares what people think? I don't care if people think I look ridiculous in this wig. But I've custom made this myself and cut it and trimmed it and messed around with it. And I know that it's freaking beautiful. And I feel awesome in it and that's what matters. So who cares what people think about the clothes you wear, the car you drive, the place you live, the things you eat, the things you do. Do you because you are freaking beautiful. And the masculines constantly say to you, you're just so gorgeous to me. You are jaw-droppingly beautiful. You're just so damn beautiful. And that's the song that came through, you know, the other week where I shared on the community post. We've also got Good Witch. This is powerful. So this is saying to you, you know, you are a good witch. And I know a lot of you do practice, you know, witchy practices like calling on the moon, working with herbs, spices. You know, you may class yourself as a white witch and all paths lead home. Everything is a bridge to where we're meant to be. So don't feel bad about the things you do. You know, we are a good witch. We have good intentions. We are not these kind of witchy sisters where... You know, they're creating toxic energy, even though we are sisters in this journey. Does that make sense? So when I'm connecting with this witchy energy around the masculine, I'm feeling that this energy is about toxicity. You know, people plotting to cause drama and trouble and struggle in their life. Whereas, you know, you are the good witch. And wow, I didn't realize my phone was on there. So again, messages coming in. So this is the good witch energy, which is about power. You know, this is you knowing that you are a power, an empath, a powerful being, that you are a high priestess, that you are the empress of your life and you create magic in your day. So don't be afraid of the things that you are being guided to do or the way you are, using pendulums, using cards, doing things that make you feel good because you are harnessing all the power within. And we've got death and the maiden, invasion, boundaries, violated dominance. Now, isn't that interesting? When we did the masculine reading the other day and we got the word violated, you know, and you may feel violated sometimes on this journey, you know, and you have to set boundaries down and you may feel right now that people are trying to invade your space or invade your time or your energy. So this is saying to you, Divine Feminine, remember, do what feels right to you. Maybe you're worried about some kind of skeleton coming out of the closet, you know, people finding things out or you're worried about being a secret. And the angel reminding you everything is as it's meant to be. You are powerful and strong. And we've got lantern fairy, a clear solution. So when we go within and we call on the angels and we tap in with our power, we receive a clear solution. And you are part of the solution, not the problem. And the angels are reminding you of that. So if you feel like your masculine is ghosting you, and I've left my phone on, I never do that, okay? And everything happens for a reason. So clearly, there's messages coming in, messages through email, maybe text messages, Snapchat, I just did a Snapchat tone as well. So things are coming into place, things are falling into place, messages are coming. And this is about big change and transformation. You know, the masculine's healing, you healing, things moving forward. It's about if you're being ghosted, blocked or ignored, you always have that telepathic link. And when you go within, you receive that clarity and that clear solution.
we've got the wow look at this the elk and this is the stag okay so the stag is coming through here for the journey saying to you this journey is real this is the promise of your union this is the promise of communication that's coming in now stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve so this is also a big sign that we teach others how to treat us and feminines, you know, if you're taking a step back from your masculine, you're showing your masculine that they need to step up and take the lead in this connection. They need to open up and show you how they truly feel. They need to bring those skeletons out of the closet. In other words, face their truth, speak their truth, come out into the open and, you know, end karmic cycles. So this is also saying to you, be you, stand proud. And the Kiwi is saying, do a walking meditation each day for the next week. So a walking meditation is when you feel calm and at peace when you're walking around your life. We can feel that when we're walking to work, when we're walking to the shops. Okay? It doesn't have to be you're setting the intention thinking, right, I'm going to do a walking meditation today. I'm going to go out and connect with nature and spend some time in the woods or by the ocean. And that's beautiful. But when you walk anywhere in your life, call on the angels use gratitude, look for amazing things around you to be grateful for, that's what walking meditation is, it's about being aware of the circumstances, being aware of your surroundings, because you're always being given a preview of what's to come, and we've got soul sisters, the hearts, it says two hearts, one soul sisterhood, two hearts, one soul, well that's you and your twin, and I am definitely feeling in this as well, same sex connections coming together, especially ladies, okay, coming together, things coming out of the closet, coming out into the open, but this is also about soul sisters, we are soul sisters here, I'm your soul sister, you're my soul sister, or my soul brother, we are one, we're in a community of divine feminines, like-minded beings coming together to help each other, and you and your twin flame, you are two hearts, two separate bodies, one soul, and that's sisterhood, that's sacred union. That's the power of twin flame love. We've also got the angel of alchemy miracle. There's a miracle coming into your connection. And there's been a miracle coming into your connection since 2021. It is happening. That's what that number means. It is happening. Have faith in this partnership and this love. So if you've been seeing bees, that's why. I've been seeing the squirrel everywhere lately about gathering information understanding things on a much deeper level, things coming to pass. And we've got the three fates, what comes around, three again. See, we've got this number, three, three, three. What we give out, we get back times three. What we give out, we experience what comes around. So it says what goes around, comes around. So things are coming around right now. And I'm seeing this as things moving into your favour things coming back into your life and into your experience, the masculine coming back around here, things changing. And we've got winged seer, you see clearly clairvoyant. So you've been reminded of your spiritual power, that you are clairvoyant, that you're being shown things in your third eye, that you are seeing things that are coming into your life with previews of power, things we experience and see in our physical reality and our virtual reality, in our mind and in our dreams. And the winged seer, they're also giving me the energy of the winged horse, the winged unicorn, butterflies, you know, birds, angels, thank you. Whenever you're seeing that has wings, you're being reminded of the power. You are, you see clearly and you are clairvoyant. And the masculines are seeing clearly now. Give me that song, I can see clearly now, the rain has got, things are becoming very clear. There's a solution there instead of a problem. Things are coming together and we are receiving this kind of power from our soul family and our soul sisters and our soul connections and we feel stronger. We know that we are one and that we're all experiencing things, maybe at different levels, but we're all going through the same thing. We are all in this together and that's another thing the angels want you to know. I've got all my sisters with me. So remember, you have support. You are not alone. Even if you've got people around you stirring the pot and causing drama, and maybe you feel like in your physical world, there's no one who gets you or understands you. You are understood here. The angels get you. I get you. 
other people get you. And we're here to stand strong in our power and to remember who we are. So definitely feel there could be sister energy around today that could be working for or against the connection. Because I feel the masculines may have people around them that are trying to turn them against this love or make them do something else, or knock them off the path in that darker energy, but there is also people guiding them on, and showing them the way, and leading them to the light, so there is people around them helping them, as well as trying to distract them, and that's the same with you, you know, remember it's all about perception, it's all about how we see things, there's going to be people always around you, helping and guiding you, and also people around you trying to knock you off your path, and that's why we set boundaries down, and we start to say no, and we appreciate where we are, who we are, and what we know in our intuition. They're giving me fear in our intuition and our third eye. So when we go into fear, and that's coming up as burpee energy, very potent energy there. You know, when we go through bitterness, when people make us feel bitter, when we go through triggers and struggles and pain, it's an opportunity to focus on love. So I feel today you're going to see 333. Again, we've got the energy of the stag. You know, big sign of union, big sign of transformation, big sign of change, and any winged beings. You know, and the angels are saying you are safe. It's better to be ridiculous on this journey than to be boring on this journey. And we are all in this journey of life. Have a great day, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.